My name is Chris Ferguson. I'm the director of crew emission systems for Boeing's CST-100 Starliner. That's a, uh, a vehicle that will replace services to low Earth orbit and to the International Space Station. Prior to this, I was an astronaut for 13 years, flew on three different space shuttle missions, and prior to that, I was a, uh, I was a pilot in the United States Navy, an aircraft carrier pilot, uh, flew the F-14 for about 15 years. If you are wondering what path you would like to go on, uh, let me just leave you with a thought. If you study, if you take up a career in science, technology, engineering, and math, I promise you that you can do anything. If you decide that's the wrong path, you can become an accountant, you can become a musician, you can become a lawyer. But if you study to be an accountant, you are never going to master the technologies that it will take to get you to go to Mars. So just think about that. 24 seconds into the flight. What are the opportunities out there for young men and women who appeal to space? Low Earth orbit is, is just nothing but a big opportunity. And then of course, then comes Mars, right? Everybody's interested and compelled by Mars. What are we going to do there? How are we going to get there? These are all problems that need to be solved. When we go to Mars, we will go and we will stay for a year and a half. This is not your average camping trip, okay? This is a long-term expedition. I recall sort of trudging through some difficult subjects in school. I, I, I always looked at partial differential equations and wondered why I needed this. Uh, the truth was, you are building a thing within you, right? And your experience base is what forms your ability to make decisions later on in life. You may never need to know how to solve a partial differential equation, but if you do, it gives you the ability to look at greater problems, extract what is really important, and help get to the the very crux of the issue and solve the problem. You know, um, there's no practice flights in space. Uh, your, your, your very first real flight um, is the only practice flight that you get and it's got to go right. It's a combination of technical skills and the ability to lead. I think that always makes a good commander no matter what they're commanding. You know, the art of motivating, technical understanding and execution. I think is what really is uh, sort of the fundamental of what makes good leadership. <laughs>